how to use stable diffusion image to image to turn yourself into a Disney character. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn yourself or anyone into a Disney character. So I'm using stable diffusion via Google Colab. Uh, here it is. Here's the process. Now what you're going to do is you're going to load it from your Google Drive. I basically uploaded it here earlier. And then after that, you're going to mount it and then just basically copy the path and then put it here. So once that's done, you can then run it. And that's how you use uh, this modern Disney in Google Colab. Okay, so yes, we are here again. And this is actually a very simple process. Let's go ahead and try to see the trigger word. This is the trigger word. We're just going to copy that one. So now that we are here, we're going to click image to image. And then from here, we are going to select our picture. And I'm going to be using this particular picture. I just found this guy from Google. Okay, this is the picture. And then uh, I'm going to be using the trigger word. This is a trigger word. So just copy that one and then paste it here. Now, another thing that I want to do also is I'm going to add something. I say man, blue hair, and then hopefully mountain. Okay, yeah, just something like that. And then I'm going to resize this, crop and resize. And just a moment. Okay, and then I'm going to adjust the height in order to include the particular person. I've got him already in the frame. And then let's scroll down here. Um, and then for the denoising effect, we're going to talk about that later. First thing, go to script and click image to image alternative test. Okay, there you go. So for the prompt, I don't want the prompt to be overridden. So I'm going to disable that one. Sampling steps is okay. And then override denoising strength. I'm going to disable that one as well. Because uh, later on, we're going to be adjusting this and see what is going to fit better with the picture. And then Sigma adjustment for finding noise for image. Okay, I'm going to click that one, enable that one. And then, yeah, that's just basically it. So we're going to go here. And then we're going to try to generate. Okay, so now we have generated an image. Let's open this one. Okay, wow. Okay, so as you see, the hair is somewhat changed. And then, yeah, it's slowly turning this character into some sort of uh, Disney or animated character. So we're going to open this one in a new tab and for us to see later. So the next thing that we're going to do is follow the same prompt. And then we're going to increase the denoising to, uh, let's say, okay, there you go, 0 0.85. And then generate again. <laughs> now the hair is totally changed. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's open this. So again, this is a 0 0.75. And then this particular person is 0 0.85. Okay, and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to increase it further. So from 0 0.85, let's go to 0 0.95. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to generate. Okay, so this is the image that we have generated. So now this is at 0 0.95. Again, the more you increase your denoise, the more changes uh, will take effect. Okay, so I'm going to open this here. Right, so from 0 0.75, 0 0.85, and then 0 0.95. So yeah, I, I like this kind of style except for the hair. So I'm going to try to go back to 0 0.80. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this one, I guess, has a more, um, not really an animated hair. So hair is, is still good. Okay, not animated though. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna open this one in a new image. Okay, I think okay, uh, 0 0.8 and then 0 0.85 and then 0 0.95. So yeah, that's how you're going to turn yourself into a Disney character. So you can try to play with these prompts and then maybe you can add Laura's or anything that you would like to play with. And again, congratulations, guys. You've learned something for today. I hope to see you again in the next video.